I've just been talking for ages by myself again, haven't I? So I keep muting my muting my mic, but we're we're getting started. We I've just been saying the team makeup and everything. More short swords on the Sefo side though, more pole axes on the love and devotion side. Um Falconetti's and Imperial Pike Guards are banned. I was just saying, if I was defending, I would probably ban Keshik's. Attacking, I would probably ban things like uh, Grandpa's and 40's rather than the Imperial Pike Guards. But totally understand the ban banning on the Falconetti's, but I'm going to see actually how much this kind of uh, changes the game up. I am going to be swinging the camera around a lot. I'm going to be trying to focus on the hot spots and going into the overview as much as I can. Please do remember there's five minute delay, so I'm not going to be able to catch everything. Um, and I need to kind of remember how to do this. So I've not done it for quite a while. There we go. Right, so we are going to go up and get an interview. Nope. There we go. So these guys on Love and Devotion are smashing down that main gate. No one over at B. Already a kill as well. Already a kill. That is pretty mad. Really smashing down this main gate though. Sorry, I am really fudging the camera up here because I've not done it so long. I'm trying to. Uh, have a look. So the breaches, the breaches breach. They have breached the wall as well. I'm doing good, broken. I'm doing good. Other than really messing up this camera at the minute. God, it is. I'm very sorry, lads. I am totally spaffing this up, and I can't seem to figure out how the frick. Uh, wow. Well. My camera has bugged out, so I'm just going to have to do it like this, I'm afraid. Because it is not letting me move it up at all now. But they're through. So, Love and Devotion are through onto A. Uh, Sephos are having to defend the breach. They are not really defending the gate here at all. This guy's bugged out, standing on top of his horse. There is a bit of a battle going off at the breach, look. A bit of a battle. So, between them a lot more numbers on the love and devotion side in terms of units a lot more numbers real big battle at the breach it is kind of neck and neck I would say at the minute although it looks like love and devotion are slowly slowly starting to breach in because they're also pushing A at the same time here now as well which is uh, very good play. It's a very good play to do. I really wish this camera would freaking work. It's annoying me. Oh, that's slightly better. Nope. So we're just going to hold it around here. Just see an absolute battle going off at A. Look. Absolute battle. So I will try and get the camera sorted for the next game. Although it's about riders coming in. Look. I think A is probably going to be gone at this point. I would I would personally be calling it back at this point because Love and Devotion are everywhere. Look, Love and Devotion are absolutely stacked up. There's a, there's a couple of cab chargers coming in. A couple of panicked cab chargers which seem to have actually... Oh. A bit of a drop there. Seem to have actually broken their kind of... Their push... Love devotion, they are not giving up. They are not giving up. The Sephos are really holding holding their own here. Really holding their own. Let's see if I can pull the camera out a little bit. Just kind of cover it. I'm really not sure why the camera is giving me such grief. Sephos are still really hitting A hard though. They have dropped 300 units though. Which is a lot of units in such a short space of time. Really good. It looks like there's Sephos. Oh, I thought Sephos might be trying to cheek you there. Trying to go around and kind of back charge. But I don't think they are. Sephos are holding it. I I thought A had gone then, but Sephos have actually held it very, very well. But 
the difference in unit numbers is huge. 400 unit difference at this early stage of the game is not good for Sephos. It is not good. So no one's really making any kind of headway at this point. There's a lot of achievements going off. A lot of achievements. Love and devotion. Slowly starting to get the count. But Sephos are just there. They have not killed or cleared Sephos enough. Sephos look like they're actually going to clear the remainders, the remaining of the love and devotion guys here. So it's going to be interesting to see if they change it up. Which way they are going. Yeah, Zephos have absolutely nailed that defense. Look at that, they, they are clearly dominant on the defense there. Um, going back in over to, obviously, the respawners now. Um, yeah, as you see the unit, even though they've dropped 600 units, they've still got 300 unit count more, which, which really could hurt Zephos here. So I think realistically, Love and Devotion have a one final chance to kind of push for eight right now. If they don't make this work, then it's, uh, I don't think, going to work for them. Looks like they're going for it. So a couple are going through the breach. A couple have already breached through the gate. Look. Try and get it back in. Uh, if anybody knows how to work the freaking camera, please let me know. But massive stack look coming from the gate. While well, the breach are trying to push off the reinforcements from coming down from B. So it's quite a clever play. Massive stack of love and devotion on A right now though. Huge stack. So, so they are definitely going to be taking A. So I'm going to just try and sort out this fucking camera because this is doing my nut. Absolutely doing my nut. So I'm pressing the overview button, it should be flying out now, I should have loads of kind of control of it, but I don't. But P's getting taken, down on the docks are being taken, so this will give them an extra 4 minutes, I think it is, uh, plus the AI berserkers which do really help out massively. Fortunately, I have just asked about the camera, so hopefully I can get it sorted in a minute. Get over to C and have a look. So C, they've got a fairly decent kind of. <laughs> Thank you, Brogan. So C, they've got a fairly decent defense already stacked up. Oh wow, look at the unit difference now though. 142 units alive to 700. I would say Cephos, even though they have put up a massive defense here they are just about to get overrun massively it's, it looks like they're pushing in from the B side a couple coming in from A side but not really many more are coming stacking in from the B love and devotion are just they've got the units they can play around they know they've got the opportunity to kind of really hammer this no defense from Zephos on the other side and that's caught them out with all the outriders look two short swords are holding as long as they can on C point that ain't gonna be long I think if love and devotion right now can clear off another two of these heroes I would start standing people to base right now if I was their caller 
you want to try and get dominance of the base right now, you are definitely going to be getting C within three and a half minutes. Like that is a definite thing. Freaking camera is doing my nothing, boys. I'm sorry. I know it's annoying you as well, but trust me, it's annoying me just as much. As soon as taken, definitely start hammering people up to uh, up to pace. Now I would be. Ah, there we go. Q and A. There we go. That's a bit better. So it's slightly better. Thank you for all the new followers and everything, by the way, as well, as we're going through the uh, the night. Looks like the boys are moving up to the base now, though. They should block off the uh, the spawn here. That's what I would be doing. Right, yeah, Sephos. Oh, six units. they got six troops. Six troops left against 600. That is a somewhat of a difference, I feel. Isn't it? But they put up a solid defense. I thought they may have had it a, you know, after that initial push from Love and Devotion, Sephos really seemed to kind of hammer them back. But they uh, they seem to have really kind of pulled it back, Love and Devotion now. So just focusing on the last point here. Sephos doing their all. They are doing their all, but they've got too much time to defend this. Too much time. Yes, of course you can, Targon. Sorry, me. I will move that down slightly. There we go. Okay, I can only apologize again for the, uh, the camera and everything there. Massive load of unit kills, all these boys up. All oh, decent numbers. Everybody on the Sephos side, though, have done their all. They've really put it in. Got Sephos. So Jeb has really hammered home the uh, the kills as well. Really nice from Ainhiri. So a couple real top kind of plays on both sides. They have done sterling work there. Look at that. It was kind of even, and then it just it just went wrong at the five minute mark at the five minute mark look at that it just absolutely flew up the death count of the Sephos and that's where it all kind of ended for them